Hi loves! Welcome to my channel. If you are new here, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I would love it if you would join the Sue in the City family. Today's video, as you can tell by the title, is about meeting a very special member of my family. <laughs> um, come here, baby. Come, little. This handsome guy <laughs> is my 10-year-old Yorkie Prince, Louis. Um, I love Louis very dearly and so does every member of my family. Um, I was given Louis as a gift when he was two months old. Um, I just wanted to come on here, introduce him to you guys, and give you guys some advice if you're thinking about um, owning a pet, a dog, a um, smaller breed. Just some advice that I didn't get before I got my dog. Um, first thing I would advise is that understand the responsibility that you are taking on. I had no idea. I thought, oh, it's a small dog. They usually stay in the house. Like, you know, what's the big deal? I was working full time and I was in grad school full time and he didn't get the time that he needed from me. Look at this cute little guy. <laughs> he didn't get the time that he needed from me and I didn't know how important it was. Um, they need to be socialized, taken to doggy parks, they need plenty of affection, they need to be properly trained and I didn't do any of that with him in the beginning and suffered for it and we're still working through problems because of it. Um, I didn't neuter him early on, um, you know, listening to the wrong people because you know they're like oh he's so cute and um don't you want him to have puppies and then the family could keep the puppies and all this other stuff but um he should have been neutered because dogs have he's male and of course and uh, male dogs have a strong urge to mark their territory now neutering them lessens that urge and neutering them in the proper training um can stop all that and help you with house training them um I don't know about bigger breeds, but I know that smaller breeds need tons of affection. He needs a lot of playtime. He needs a lot of attention. Um, he needs to be groomed regularly, at least every four to five weeks. Um, and it's just, it's a lot. Making sure that he has his shots, making sure that he goes to the groomers, making sure he's getting the right food. Um, I was feeding him, I think, kibbles and bits at one point, and he stayed with my family in Florida big humongous shout out to my family in Florida my mom my sister Bernie for taking my dog for a very extended period of time um, which allowed me to go back and forth uh, between New York and Boston without having to worry about putting him in a kennel or you know like a, a doggy hotel or anything like that he really didn't like those things he would have to get board of shots well he still has a board of shot so in case you don't know if you board a dog they need a bordetella shot to protect them from um i think it's called whooping cough like it's a cough that the dogs actually can get from each other they need their rabies shots they need booster shots so anyway uh, my family took amazing care of him i couldn't dream or wish for anything better but when he was with them i found out that the food i was giving him they basically said was fast food for dogs so they switch into a healthier brand um, it's just a whole bunch of things that I didn't think about like right now he's almost it's almost time for him to get groomed again his hair is quite long it's warm and um, he needs a bath uh, I try not to bathe him too often because he has dry skin <laughs> right now I am rubbing his belly and he's falling asleep on me <laughs> um, he's super territorial he's only seven pounds but he thinks that he can guard this family like a huge dog could, like a Great Dane could. You couldn't tell him that. He's small when he's trying to protect us. Um, so the biggest things that I would just say is if you want a pet, um, make sure that you do all, the, all of your research and make sure that you are going to give them the love and attention and just raising them the way that they deserve to be raised. Um, 
like he, he was just two months old like he actually changed teeth and all of that i didn't even know they would change teeth his teeth fell out he got other teeth you have to take care of their teeth you have to clean their ears you have to get their nails cut all of those things um so again you know i would say that um dogs are not just this cute little accessory you know they're part of the family and they deserve the absolute best and you want to make sure you give them that also flea protection flea and tick protection um he he's mad because i keep waking him up look at how cute say hi louis say hi to the people lulu <laughs> he can be aggressive um sometimes and again it's not his fault it's the lack of training and i'm trying to work on that right now um everything from where you place their beds their food um it's all important what you feed them when you feed them when you walk them they're creatures of habit so you want to make sure that you get them on a routine on your routine um and they're very loving super 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 loving um so you know and it's difficult like even to travel like i didn't know like okay if i travel with him I think the tickets are more like $125 now to travel with him. He goes on the plane in the seat, under the seat in front of me. So it's like a hundred and change each way um, to take him. Like if I'm flying to Florida or Boston, it's a, oh, like 125 each way, take him with me. Um, and it's just, it's difficult to travel with him right now. <laughs> he doesn't like to be in the kennel uh, in his little carrier too long um he just yeah there's just a lot of things that i would recommend that you think about before getting a dog now would i say that it's rewarding to have them yes they're super loving they're super like they therapeutic and all of that but they're a lot of work and it's it's not a decision that should be made lightly um you really should think about it and whether or not you have the space to give them the best home like i wasn't prepared and he's 10 and i'm still trying to be a good mommy um the best mommy that um louis deserves so anyway through learning i just wanted to share that with you guys i have friends that take one look at this face look at this face look at that face <laughs> They take one look at that face and go, oh my god, he's so cute, I want a dog, oh my gosh, he's so cute. And I'm like, yeah, but it's way more than just him being cute, he's a lot of work, and you need to know <laughs> what you're getting yourself into, so yeah that's just my advice to you guys um if you were thinking about getting a dog especially a small breed or a yorkie like mine i hope that this video was helpful to you um and i'm glad that i finally got to introduce you guys to louis it's been a long time coming and he was uh in my mom's house in florida for quite some time so i'm glad that i was able to finally introduce him to you guys properly so until next time guys take care don't forget to like and subscribe say bye louis Bye. Bye-bye, guys. Bye-bye. <laughs>